So, uh, uh, I'm glad that I can introduce my friend, uh, Roman Horáček, who is working for the Czech uh, National Agency, helping the uh, Czech companies going abroad and specifically to West Coast, I guess, as well as helping uh, local companies to potentially invest into the Czech Republic. What I really like about Roman is that he's really deeply involved in the whole startup community, but from the angle of the government guy. So, which is rather unusual. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and here's the thing, so, how, how do you feel from your position when you see those kids coming here, where you already see the pattern, you, you, you know, you know the, the way how they will act here, at the same time, you know, you know at, at least for, for, the, for the people from our country, the government agencies, they don't usually have so much respect that maybe they deserve. So, how do you really feel that those guys are coming here with uh, their own ideas and we'd be the same, I mean, sure. don't get me wrong. So, uh, what, 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 what it is to be like in your shoes when you see those kids, you know, pitching to you, asking you for crazy things and you exactly know how this thing will end up? Actually, it's, you know, it's, it's fun. Uh, this, is the, this is the part I would say I enjoy the most, you know, meeting the Czech entrepreneurs coming over to the US for the very first time and uh, as you said you know that they don't really uh, consider myself being a let's say partner for that for them because they believe that the government you know is actually the thing that is standing between them and the, the, the success of, the, of, the, of their company because government is basically the body that is making all the rules that makes their life so much more difficult so at, at, at the very beginning usually the companies you know I would say that they are not very open and it takes some time to build the trust uh, between me and, the, and those companies because they don't know what to expect because uh, mo mo most of the interactions they had so uh, they had so far with government was basically going you know to, to pick up the driving license or you know to go to the post office or pay fine pay fine <laughs> so all, all, all the painful stuff we have to go through and we have to go through and uh, Basically, this is the painful stuff by everybody, including myself. You know, is not a big supporter of government agencies. So then I would say that uh, they realize that I'm not a typical government, uh, you know, employee and civil servant. Because I, I'm, I live on the other side of the world from the government, which has some advantages, some disadvantages. But one of the advantages is that I can actually adapt myself to, to the local environment way, way you know, much better than, than, than my colleagues back in Prague who are still you know, being based at the ministries. So I don't have to wear a tie and suit all the time, so I can dress like them. Uh, sooner or later they will realize that I speak the same language, and sooner or later they, they will realize that I actually, you know, I've seen this pattern as, as you just mentioned already uh, multiple times. So I know uh, what they are thinking. Uh, I, can, I would say that I, I, I know what what will be the first issues they'll be facing, mm. and they will quickly realize uh, just based my, just based on my responses that I actually can help them at, at, at the very beginning, especially at the very beginning, to give them the first introductions, you know, to give them the first do's do's and don'ts, and uh, I, I believe and I hope that uh, the companies uh, after a few weeks they actually take me as a partner, you know, which which can really help them. Uh, to, to basically smooth the, 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 uh, the, the progress and the process of basically the adaptation to the market. Oh, I organized today probably the best panel from the Czech founders. Uh, as you know, some of the panelists mentioned it was probably the first panel, so the, 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 the victory was kind of easy, but still. <laughs> the, the, the mine is the local perspective, your is coming more for our Czech background, but. Yes, the, the thing is that we you there as a partner because I, I, I see a big value in what you do and, and what you represent as, as a Roman Horáček. So, uh, and we spoke a lot about patterns in terms of the startup, etc, etc. But, you know, let's, let's, let's switch the gear. So, mm -hmm. what are the patterns you see on the side of the different government agencies? The patterns I I I seen lately is basically that you know most of the European governments, especially you know the, let's say the Central and Eastern European governments, and uh, not like the traditional strong economies as Germany or France, they are actually struggling uh, how to innovate and what to do with their economies. And unfortunately, there's no easy fix for that. But most of the governments they are looking for easy fix. Yes. And the easy fix they usually you know discover and or, or find. 
is basically capital. It, it's money. So in in the last three years, I, I can see and I saw actually the you know the, the prices of uh, of some services of providers that are working for government basically tripled just because of that. Because the government, the, those governments, they have the money, right? They don't know how to innovate. They don't know what to do with it. So they basically come to Silicon Valley. They are looking for local partners. Not many people is interested working to work with governments. And if yes, they charge for the premium price. And since the government, you know, they, they they don't know what to do and how to do it, they are willing to pay the premium price in order, you know, let's, they they willing to innovate. But uh, I, I don't think that this, this this is the right way to to do it and, and to go. Because what is actually happening, what what I believe is happening, is that they are basically stimulating the ecosystem just by bringing the capital uh, to to the, to the environment, to the ecosystem. But what it's really missing in, in, in most cases is, is you know is the mindset of the local people, the infrastructure, uh, the, 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 the the entrepreneurial culture in, in general. So the capital is, is just I would say one uh, ingredient uh, of the cocktail, and now they are trying you know basically just to, to make uh, the cocktail and they are having just vodka. So they, they will make a big 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 glass of just vodka, then they will drink it, they will have fun. But in the morning they wake up and they'll be just lying over. So this this is this, this is what I see that you know I'm a little concerned uh, seeing the government having just uh, the big basically these uh, like investment seed funds being available for, for the companies because I, I'm a big believer in, in the education in the educational part of, of, of the mix basically. So to educate the companies and basically the money they should be just the cherry on the top. Mm -hmm. Just to give them a little bit, and then they can they can, they can go to, you know wherever they want, and they should be able to raise uh, the, the money from the private resources. And th th that's the reason why uh, you know um, we 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 did Latu and we, we had you on on a, on a panel. I, I really appreciate what you are saying. But at the same time, what I'm hearing from from my perspective as a founder, it might be an opportunity, right? So he, here's the question. So. Uh, Sometimes you know we as a founders we don't really know how to treat the governments, how, how to how to build a relationship, mm -hmm. and uh, you know let, let's assume that uh, there are some kids from Czech Republic you know hearing us right now. So how you really, how you fe feel that they should really approach Czech Invest as your agency or and, and yourself, really in a way which can bring the most of profit for for them. Mm -hmm. I, I would say you know you, you should approach the government as any other business, you know. We, uh, like the people that are working for, for government in general, they, they are no, 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 no different than any, any other people, right? Uh, sometimes they problem, the problems that they're facing is that you know there's obviously a lot more bureaucracy involved uh, in the Czech Republic. You know this is uh, I would say mostly because of the past, so people are actually uh, fear that the, the employees will, will steal something from the company, or they will make a bad, bad decision and the, the government will basically have to pay for them. So there is a lot of lot 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 of rules being you know in place that is basically uh, making the, the employees and, and the government institutions itself rigid. But like I said, the people that are working for the government and you know not just for Czech Invest but for any other governments, I, I I know most of them and you know they are very nice people and if they can, they they, they will definitely help you. So that there there is. Not, not, not a single reason why you should approach the government you know, differently than any other organization. The one thing you should, you, you'll have to probably expect is that you know, the reaction of the government uh, will be not necessarily like, super fast or, or timely always. But this is just because those, those people that you'll be meeting you know, sitting on the, on the like, front, front line, let's say, those are the people that can, that can make just very few decisions by themselves. I see. So even if they would love to help you, they still have to come to get you know supervisors or directors or whoever and ask whether this is something they can do. So they are basically by by many many different you know rules that they have to follow in order you know not not to be like fired from the company. So, so they don't want to necessarily hurt you, but they just follow the the, the rules and the laws rather strictly. Here's the thing. I mean, we in a startup we have a lot of coverage. We had a chance many times to talk about our passions and mm -hmm. how much we love, love the ice cream. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I guess there is not really much opportunities for, for you guys really to, to speak and, and share your, your perspective. So I guess my last question would be, 
is there any point you really feel as, as, a, as a highlight and uh, basically uh, put it across, put this message across and, and try to you know impact as much as people with this kind of you know message or, or mm -hmm. people here? First of all, I don't believe that we are on the other side. You know? okay. I, I, I do believe that we are playing on the same field, I see. the same game. And you know, the startups and government this is something that's always, you know, will be the like love and hate and relationships. So if they give you if the government, you know, if, if police will come to help you, you love them. If they will ask you for taxes, taxes you basically hate them. So this is something that always be there. But what what I believe uh, people should realize is that you know that the companies actually cannot exist as the government. And the government obviously cannot you know, exist uh, without the company. So this is kind of a, uh, this is a synergy, and you know both sides and both parties should try their best to make the synergy work. Because without the feedback from the companies, the government hardly knows you know what actually the ecosystem needs. And at the same time, without the support from the government that actually makes all the rules for the businesses, the businesses they they, they cannot grow. So if we uh, as a government or as, a, as a companies will start talking to each other and communicating with, with each other, it's not going to help anyone. So this is something I think you know people don't realize. But uh, even if, if all the startups hate government, government is something that is probably always be there. And you just should try to give them your feedback and basically to live with the rules and, and you know. Uh, I, I can clearly say that in our relationship you were super helpful. You've been always trying to help out as much as you can. So thank you again for that and uh, thanks for your time. Thank you. Bye. Good luck.